demonstrate the use of the thumb switches with an extremely simple app. Here we've got three basic components. I've got a slider at the top, I've got a text box in the middle, and a button at the bottom. All three of these components can be found in the user interface drawer. With respect to the slider, I've set the width to fill the parent so we can see it basically take any position along the horizontal here on the screen. And I've set the max value to 100 and the min value to 0 because in the clicker app, we're going to be using this to display some percentage of 100. So let's look at the code blocks, which are also simple for this app. We have uh, the first thing here is a triggered event of when the slider position changes. We're going to take the thumb position and print it to the text box. Likewise, if the user presses the button, we're going to take whatever number is in the text box and use that to set the slider position. This is how a slider is normally used. It's used to allow the user to move the slider around and then we read the thumb position inside the code. But for the clicker app, we're going to be using the slider in a reverse mode, which is over here. We're going to be use it, using it to uh, create a histogram. So we're going to take some number and uh, using that number, we're going to set the thumb position. Let's have a look at it in action. Okay, so if I take the slider and I move it around, you can see that the uh, percentage of the screen that I'm occupying with the slider uh, shows up over here. So if I move it all the way to the right, I get to 99. If I move it all the way to the left, I get to zero. Alternatively, uh, if I click uh, here and I put in a number, let's say I put in the number 50, and I hit click, you can see that the thumb position moves to the middle position. Mm -hmm.